Cheers. Welcome to a very big and special Fee for Myths. And what a day today is, guys. It really is a special day. Have we found out, though, the new headliner cards? Whenever you play a game in career mode with Nottingham Forest, the commentator asks the crowd if someone owns a silver car. These myths are getting crazier by the day, the hour, and even the minute. They're unbelievable. You guys are incredible. So, Mr. Myth did become a new manager and the manager of Nottingham Forest. And was this true? Well, we're about to find out. The reminder this stadium is a no smoking stadium. Please do not smoke in any part of the stadium. Thank you. Happy birthday to Sasha Walker celebrating today from Grandad Stan and Gran. This is a message for Tyler Berry. That's Tyler Berry. Can you please make yourself known to the nearest steward? Thank you. Would the owner of a silver hatchback with the registration GR21LJJ please contact your nearest security guard? Thank you. Well, who knew that was true? That was honestly really interesting. It took about 90 minutes. However, it was very, very intriguing to see some of the different announcements that are read out. And there's probably at least 10. So there's defo some more to find. And yes, I did get fired, guys. Well, sorry, Mr. Myth got fired from the Nottingham Forest job. So that happened. Um, apologies, Nottingham Forest. Kaka is a censored word in FIFA 20. If you search for Kaka on the transfer market, you know it's going to come up, right? You're going to get the amazing Brazilian footballer who, in my opinion, should probably be a 93-rated midfielder. I still think Zidane was rated too highly, in my opinion. I'm just comparing Kaka and Zidane. If Zidane's like 96 prime, how is Kaka 91? That I, I don't get. Anyway, he's obviously searchable on the transfer market. However, it is actually true if you do have the squad name, such as Kaka, you will not be allowed to use it in FIFA, just like having the term 50K. And Kaka is also a censored word, according to EA. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys have had this one. No one has ever had a Team of the Year card and then moved clubs in the same season. Team of the Year arrived and left with not the biggest bang, let's face it, guys. It was a bit of an up and down week, wasn't Team of the Year, at least in my opinion. But they released some cool cards like Flashback Iniesta. Well, speaking of flashbacks, this is actually a myth. So Team of the Year Di Maria was the team of the year card that year with obviously a 10 other cards and it was a cool card actually even though unfortunately he was a my united player however he did leave to psg in the same season as did cristiano ronaldo so this is a very cool and exciting new fifa myth and i remember the hype when that juve ronaldo card did get released i mean fifa 18 like although for me it really wasn't a good fifa at all for gameplay i honestly detested that game so much the cards that they released were spectacular. Having a right wing Ronaldo for the first time in a long time was cool to have. Having that, you know, those footy cards as well, festival of football cards, it was a special FIFA for the cards at least. The FIFA community has figured out which headliner cards are coming to Ultimate Team. EA revealed to us via this screenshot that they are releasing headliner cards on Friday. And if you look closely in every corner of this image, there are actually some hidden clues. So this was the second image they released onto our consoles on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team with a Belgium flag, 94 pace and a Spanish flag. Quick prediction, I do think Adama Traore will get a uh, headliner card. But as you can see, there are some hidden kind of codes, some hidden letters, and a lot of you guys have been discovering that there actually is some meaning behind this. So in the bottom right corner, you can actually see some numbers, and it does say 17, 19, and also 2. That definitely means Lewandowski is getting a card. 19 goals, uh, 17 matches played, and 2 assists. Also, this guy on Twitter, shout out to him, did actually find out that actually Mertens could be a player due to the letters. And finally, here's a quick prediction. So who do you think is going to get a headline the card? And any other clues? People are saying Tellez could get a card for sure. He could be within the clues on these uh, kind of FIFA screens. And yeah. It looks like it's happening. No player in FIFA has six cards, yet just three different ratings. I'm not sure if we've seen anything like this with Ultimate Team and its short history. However, this is the case for one player in FIFA 20. Sergio Aguero remarkably has six different cards, most of which are special and pretty amazing FIFA cards, 
He had only three different ratings, 89 for his base card, 89 again for his UCL card there, which is the same as a base rating. In form, ultimate screen, and then record breaker as well. This is very, very odd. Also, team of the year nominee thrown in there. So six different cards, man, three ratings. Have we seen anything like this? I feel like Mane may have done it maybe last FIFA, but still, it's a really rare myth. And also, that record breaker card looks unbelievable. Bolly from Wolves is French in all modes within FIFA 20. Willy Bolly has represented France at youth levels, and he's actually also been asked to represent Ivory Coast recently, and instead of actually playing for them, he chose to spend some time with his family, and you can't argue with that. So it's interesting to see what country he will choose to represent. And it seems that EA have actually changed his nation within FIFA 20 and I haven't really told us. So in Ultimate Team, you guys can see there, he is of the French nation, is a you know decent starter kind of player for Ultimate Team. However, if you guys choose to back out of Ultimate Team, go into career mode, as you can see, the Nottingham Forest career mode on the Myth series is going really well, isn't it, guys? And if you search for Bolly, you will find out that he has actually got the nation Ivory Coast. So bit of a game-changing one here, so it's looking like there could be more players like this who are changing nations within different modes of FIFA. Uh, but yeah, you can see right there for yourself, he is got the same stats like he does in Ultimate Team. However, he's got the different flag from a French flag to Ivory Coast. And he does have, I believe, parents from Ivory Coast. So yeah, very interesting one, this guy's. And he has changed nation on FIFA. Hope you guys love the new FIFA myths. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below with your myth to be on the next video. And we'll do a proper comment special on the next one as well. So the craziest myths you can find in this game, let me know. And yeah, see you guys later for my Foot Champions reward stream.